How's everybody doing tonight? Hope they're this morning, whenever I put this video out there. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're enjoying the summertime. God bless you and salute. So I wanted to talk about a few things with regards to uh, Josh Taylor versus Tiafimo Lopez. Um, one of those things being why this fight hasn't been getting the attention that maybe it deserves, okay? Um, yo, hold on, hold on, please. Number one, and it should be getting more attention. Let me start off with that. We just had a big fight two weeks, week and a half ago with Lomachenko and Haney, and the majority of the fans agree that, and fighters alike, that the wrong man got the decision, right? Um, so controversial decision for Devin Haney that the majority of the fans and fighters and insiders thought Lomachenko deserved to win, including myself. Um, so we just had a big fight that ended very controversially, and I think that's kind of overshadowing the Teofimo Taylor fight. And then something else happened. Crawford and Spence got announced, okay? And I think the announcement of that is also overshadowing what a damn good fight that Josh Taylor and Teofimo Lopez is, and maybe diluting the attention that it should be getting, okay? Because my buddy Black and Brown said it perfectly. Crawford and Spence made us, the fans, wait five years for this fight. So let's wait to talk about them till after Tiafimo Taylor gets done. And I thought he made a great point there. Shout out to Black and Brown. Um, another thing, so you had a big fight, a big lightweight undisputed fight that ended very controversially a week and a half ago. I think that kind of spilled over into what should have been the Taylor and Teofimo to ongoing talks, okay? Um, you know, and you know, we, we all know when we got robbed, but that's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about Taylor Teofimo. Then, when you double up on that with Crawford and Spence being announced, it's, all, it's almost getting overlapped in two ways. One, from a big fight that just, big undisputed fight that just happened and ended controversially, and with the other, with another big undisputed fight just getting announced. So it's kind of getting overlapped from what just happened and what's coming up, coming up shortly in the next couple of months. And I think that's a big reason why you're not hearing so many fans and channels discuss this fight, which is a damn shame because it is an excellent fight between Josh Taylor and Tiafimo Lopez. Now, there's something else that needs to be said. This fight would have been getting a lot more attention if it was two years ago. But, you know, like I say, most credible people had Josh Taylor on their pound for pound list. At one point or another, some still do. Teofimo Lopez, same thing. 18 months, two years ago, one just had beat one undisputed, and the other had just, you know, really given Vasil Lomachenko his first loss, which was Teofimo. His first real loss, not on paper, you know. So the momentum has died down. So when you couple that with the controversial Lomachenko Haney decision, the Crawford Spence announcement getting overlapped both ways, and this fight might be not quite have the draw what it still what it would have 18 months, two years ago, right? But it's still an excellent fight, and more people should be talking about it. Now, there's another thing that I think people are forgetting about. I don't think either one of these guys are on top rank and Bob Arum's good side, okay? Because I was expecting a bunch of blood, sweat, and tears episodes to be coming out about this. Max Kellerman to be talking about it. It getting promoted a little bit more heavily, but none of that happened. And I think that is because maybe neither one of those guys are on Bob Arum and top rank's good Good, good graces. They're in their good graces, right? 
I would say more so towards Tiafimo, especially with what he's just recently come out and said. You know, you know when he was talking about the the, the the whatever, whatever, whatever. And he said, this is my last fight on ESPN. I'm sick of this shit and blah, blah, all, all that other crap that he was talking about. So, and last time he did that, he went over to the zone and got whooped on by Campos. Okay? So, those three factors, we just had a, a, a big fight and very, a big undisputed fight and, and controversially. Two, we just had another big undisputed fight get announced with Crawford and Spence. And three, I don't think either one of these guys are in the good graces of top rank and Bob Arum. More so Tiafimo, but I think a little bit of both. When I spoke to Steve Kim a couple months ago on the channel here, he described that fight to me as top rank has two headaches and they're just looking to get rid themselves of one of them. Okay. So I want you to take that into account. All right. Now, I don't listen, man. There's something that I caught. Um, and I could be dead the rights wrong, but because it is an interesting fight. There's something I caught with Tiafimo with that with that who had that interview with that guy that I won't mention his name because me and him aren't on the best of terms, you know. But in that interview, Tiafimo said he wanted to kill Josh Taylor, which you're making an ass out of yourself just for saying that. What do you want to kill Josh Taylor for? He didn't attack your mother or your child or one of your loved ones. What do you want to kill him for? Real killers don't talk like that. And in that same interview that just got released from maybe that individual and I that aren't on the best of terms. Um, Tiafimo said he's also ha been having a hard time with getting divorced and him not being able to see his son or his kid, whatever, I don't know if it's a son or a daughter, not being able to see his kid. And then to top all that off, Tiafimo Sr. just came out with a video where he was making a complete ass out of himself, talking about don't hate the play, I hate the game. And I would imagine there was a little booze involved in it. I don't know, but if I had to guess. So that's telling me one of two, th one thing, not one of two things, one thing. With all that shit that Teofimo Lopez just spewed in that interview. He's still mentally checked out, guys. Now, I've been riding the fence on who I'm picking this fight in this fight for the last month. I could not decide. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know I couldn't decide. And that might have just swung the pendulum one way rather than the other. He's talking about he wants to kill Josh Taylor, and Josh Taylor didn't harm him. He didn't do nothing to him but talk a little trash. Um, the, he's talking about his divorce and him not being able to see his kid and his dad's acting like an ass again. And so that's telling me one thing, guys, that he's still mentally checked out. And when you cop and when you put all that together with what Taylor's been putting out there, he looks dialed in. So, I again, I'm going to say this. I'm still on the fence about who I'm picking, but that might have just swung the pendulum one way rather than the other. So with that being said, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Feel free to share the video. And if you're feeling frosty, I'll leave the cash app below if you feel like, if you're feeling generous and want to donate. God bless you all and have a wonderful evening or morning or wherever the hell you are. And guys, and salute.